Hello again, this is Andrew Powell, and this is another demonstration video. This video basically follows after the video that I last posted, where I basically implemented a quote-unquote audio type system, where I'm using this Atlas board from uh, Digilent. In fact, everything here is from Digilent. And I have a PMOD mic uh, peripheral that captures audio in real time at 48 kilohertz. That's the sample rate. And then using uh, the FPGA here, the, the same samples are output outputted through the PMOD AMP3. And the whole reasoning for these pro these last uh, set of projects is that I'm learning VHDL and I'm just doing simple projects just to kind of demonstrate my progress. In this project, I extend the last project by actually doing some very basic digital uh, signal processing. All it is is a low-pass finite impulse response filter implemented using uh, the Xilinx Xilinx uh, FIR compiler and I did all the simulation stuff on MATLAB. All it is is a uh, low pass filter with a cutoff of 8, no, 9.6 kilohertz. And for those who want to read more about how I did that, you can read the blog. But in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and do the demonstration. So uh, the whole thing's actually loaded. I, I set up the system such that you need to enable it to get it started. So this is what everything sounds like without actually enabling the filter. I have the filter basically connected to a, one of the slice switches, that way I can turn it on and off at will. And uh, this is what my voice sounds like through the audio system without the filter actually enabled. So that's, yeah, that's just my voice. And here's what the audio system sounds like with the filter enabled. Here it is. Unfortunately, uh, due to my initial assumptions were probably wrong, there's not much of a difference. However, you can still hear a slight difference in the sounds that come out the fil that come out the, the speaker system. It's a very small difference, but if I go back and forth between the filter and no filter, you can hear changes in the audio. If you listen really closely, you can definitely tell that uh, the higher frequencies are being filtered out. Like right now, the the noise that you hear out of the sound speaker is definitely lower. Like it has a lower pitch to it. So if I turn off the filter again, you you can hear the the higher frequencies. So. That's basically it for the demonstration. Like I said earlier, you can find more information on the blog if you're interested. For the next project, I'm probably going to, well no, I will stop using Atlas board and start focusing more on using the Z board again. Well, maybe not even the Z board. I might try to use the other bio the, what's it called, the, uh, the, the Xilinx Zinc Evaluation board. I think it's the ZZ702 or something. But more than that, when I get there, and yeah, that this that basically concludes the video. Bye.